2022 is almost about to end. This year was particularly important for the world in terms of space explorations. Although NASA's Artemis mission, James Webb Telescope and China's Tiangong space stations hogged much of the limelight, but they were not able to overshadow ISRO and India's private budding space tech company's achievements. As the year ends, we bring to you a few of the important milestones achieved by India and ISRO in terms of space exploration. But before that, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to One India. First, maiden flight of the SSLV. This was an important milestone achieved by ISRO. Small satellites deployed in a low Earth orbit have become increasingly popular over the years. And SSLV were designed specifically to cater to this market. The SSLV uses three solid fuel-based stages and a liquid fuel-based velocity trimming module, that is VTM, to place the satellites in orbit with the quick turnaround time required for commercial launches. It can be integrated in two days and also tested in just two days. After that, rehearsal and launch can be conducted in the next two days, meaning that launch using the vehicle can be carried out within a week. On August 8th of this year, the SSLV D1 mission successfully blasted off. But this was followed by silence from the mission control room due to some data losses in the terminal phases of the mission. It was then discovered that the satellites were placed into an elliptical orbit instead of a circular one, rendering them useless. The mission was carrying Azadi Sat, which was made by 750 schoolgirls to celebrate 75 years of India's independence. Despite rendering these satellites useless, the mission is still termed partial success because it helped ISRO test many new elements that were incorporated into the rocket, including the propulsion stages, aerodynamic designs, control systems, separation systems and the entire architecture of the rocket. Second, first commercial mission launch of LVM-3. ISRO's heaviest rocket till date. LVM-3 successfully injected 36 broadband satellites for the UK-based satellite internet company OneWeb. The first commercial launch for LVM-3 was a complex mission that marked many firsts for ISRO. This was the first time LVM-3 had carried multiple satellites and launched them into orbit. The 5.8 ton payload was also the heaviest ISRO had ever launched. LVM-3 took off after midnight on October 23 from the second launch pad of the Sri Harikota spaceport and successfully placed 16 satellites into orbit while also ensuring they would not collide. Third, launch of Vikram S. Skyroot Aerospace completed the first private rocket launch of the country when Vikram S rocket lifted off from the Sri Harikota launch pad at 11:30 a.m. on November of 18. The launch was a suborbital one, with the spacecraft travelling slower than orbital velocity. This meant the spacecraft reached outer space but did not remain in orbit around the Earth. The space flight lasted less than 5 minutes. Vikram S is a single-stage solid fuel rocket engine designed to test systems and processes for Vikram 1 rocket launch scheduled for 2023. Vikram 1 is a much larger launch vehicle that will be used to conduct orbital flights. The series of rockets is named after Vikram Sarabhai, the founder of the India Space Programme. The launch of Vikram S paved the way for Indian private space companies to take on some of the work ISRO has done in the past, like satellite launches. This is part of a larger global trend with companies like SpaceX, Rocket Lab and Blue Origin conducting multiple successful launches of their own rockets. Fourth, test firing of India's first 3D printed single-piece rocket engine. In November this year, Chennai-based Agnikul successfully completed the test firing of Agni LED, the company's 3D printed rocket engine at the Vikram Sarabhai Space Centre in Thiruvananthapuram. Agni LED is the world's first single-piece 3D printed rocket engine. It is designed to carry Agni Baan, the company's planned small satellite launch vehicle currently under development and payloads of up to 300 kg to a low Earth orbit. In November, the company also inaugurated India's first private launch pad and mission control center at the Satish Dhawan Space Center in Sri Harikota. The launch pad is designed to accommodate and support liquid stage control launches and is 4 kilometers away from the mission control center. Agnikul plans to launch the Agni Bond rocket from this facility in the near future. These were the top four feather in cap for ISRO and India's private space companies this year. Next year is supposed to build up more on these technological innovations and is expected to herald a new era for India in space tech. We hope you would like this new video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.